Hello my dear students, uh, welcome back again. Uh, today we are going to discuss about a bit different thing uh, which is called forward and backward kinematics on manipulator. We learn what is manipulator. Manipulator means from this part to this heavy, this part to reach in a point. So I have, uh, I have a manipulator which is actually built by a uh, few servo motors you can see here there are three degree of freedoms uh, one two three degree of freedoms i didn't use this one but we can use this one very easily it's ready to use but i didn't use this one so you can see here one degree of freedom is here so it can move the base okay so this is one degree of freedom you know what is degree of freedom so this is one degree of freedom and it can move in different degree this is another degree of freedom so it's going down going up down second degree of freedom okay then here is third degree of freedom okay you can go up and down go up and down whenever I we need to move it can go so this is the three degree of freedom arm one two and three at this moment we have another one but I didn't use it so this is a three degree of freedom arm. What is forward kinematics? Forward kinematics means if we know the degree, like how, which degree it moved, if we know the degree value, okay? Like we have the degree of 60 degree, like yeah, let me do it. So if we know the degree of the, degree of the first one, first degree, and if we know the degree of this motor, if we know the degree of this motor, then we will be able to calculate the position of this point. Okay, that means where it is. We can calculate this one very easily. Okay, so that is called forward kinematics. And what is backward kinematics? Backward kinematics means if I am here, like when my position is here, if I call the x value, y value, and z value, then I will be able to calculate the degree of each joint. Okay, that is called reverse kinematics. Once again, Forward kinematics means if we know the degree of each joint, like if I know the degree of this joint is uh, like 20 degree, if I know the degree of this joint, if I know it's 90 degree, and if I know the degree of this joint, like 45 degree, then I will know, I will be able to know the position of this point. I am considering this one as the point, the top point, okay, the last point or end point, or you can call it this point. So it, it, it depends on you. So I am considering this one, the head of this motor, okay. The last point is the head of this motor, this servo motor. So this is called forward kinematics. And backward kinematics means if I just, if my finger position is here, okay, if the position of my object is here, then like if my object is here, then I will be able to calculate the degree of each joints. Okay, that is called backward kinematics. So in today's session, we are going to calculate, we are going to show you the calculation, how to calculate the uh, position x, y, z from the degree value and how to calculate the degree value from x, y, z value. Okay, so uh, keep in your mind, this is x, okay, this is x for this manipulator. I am considering and behind is minus x. I am considering this is y, okay, this is minus y and the height is z. Okay, I am considering x, y, minus y and z okay now let's make that calculation uh, before that calculation you need to know few geometrical knowledge okay you can see in this picture this is also having three degree of freedom okay so to 
calculate this issue to go inside the calculation you need to review how to calculate the area of a triangle we don't need to know it actually but you better need to know it then the Pythagoras theorem you know uh, this theorem very well and then we need to know the basic trigonometric function which sometimes is called so cha twa okay so you can uh, that means all of you know it you have studied this thing in your hsc level and also i have given you the uh, assignment in your uh, in your classroom so of course you have seen it and you know it and also this one the sine and cosine rule of a triangle okay if you know these rules then you will be able to calculate uh, the kinematics and reverse kinematics okay